Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. This is your weekly tarot reading. We'll be having a look at the overall message for you for the upcoming week um, and then we'll look at some more detailed messages for you. So this can be applicable if you're in Gemini, Aquarius or Libra. So um, let's first uh, first and foremost have a look at the overall energy um, for you this upcoming week. Which card wants to pop out? Okay, air signs. You've got purity. Okay, so we have um, an interesting message here, okay? So purity means you need to go back to basics and something, okay? In a connection, um, in a person, within yourself. I feel like it's a very spiritual week for you maybe, um, okay? Because you're searching for purity, but purity can also be like the truth. So I'm getting that some of you are searching for the truth, okay? You want answers, you want truth. Maybe you want someone to explain something to you. Uh, maybe you feel you need to explain yourself. But purity can also be like there's a message here of pure connections that it's coming in around you. Or things that are good or pure um, are coming to the surface here. Okay, so um, especially when it comes to love and your connections. Let's see what else we can learn. Okay, for those of you that have had this third party situation, there's been a betrayal or there's been pain and love. Um, okay, you're sort of going through the middle of it uh, right now, air signs. So it may be a bit of a tough week for you. I feel like you're trying to press on with the situation with the Knight of Cups. Um, but I get that a lot of you are still hurting. Okay, there's still pain or there's, there's still hurt or betrayal um, that's come up in the picture. So now... Um, I mean, air signs, for some of you, it could be something that is, you know, you've caused on yourself. Like it could be your own anxieties and your own insecurities um, that are sort of driving you crazy. But I feel for a lot of you, there is there is another a person or a connection or something that has made, made you doubt a person. Now, you're still going through it. There is um, potentially a breakup or an ending of some kind that you're still dealing with. Or there may be a message here that this week is going to, um, you're going to need to end something this week. Or someone may want to end something with you. It could be an air sign. Um, and we do have water here, Scorpio dates. Um, so this can be Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. And that may be something very emotional that happens here, air signs. Um but I feel like you're reinventing yourself because of that and you're getting yourself back to basics, which is fantastic. You're doing things for you and this can speak a lot about self-love. Um, but I want to feel like, I want to say that Gemini, if this is you identifying as the swords, you know, if you've got the swords in your back, if someone's hurt you or betrayed you, a part of you feels like they've just turned your back, turned their back on you. Because if they're coming up as the Knight of Cups, they were the one that sort of came into your life and offered you love and offered you this connection. And all of a sudden you feel like they've just abandoned you or they've turned their back on you. And here you are, you know, laying there still sort of dealing with the pain, um, still under trying to, you know, understand how things played out. You're sort of still coping with it. And you feel like you've sort of been left without any answers. And I get the sense that that's where you're seeking those answers from. Like, what was somebody's motivation for doing what they did? Um, you know, they've, they've turned their back. So in some way, you might have felt like maybe they cut off things very quickly. Or you felt like there wasn't enough answers. Now, if the connection is pure and the connection is real, you should be hearing from this person sometime this week, okay? They may be reaching out. Um, no matter how complex or complicated this is, notice the incline of the mountain. No matter how tough it is, um, purity would indicate that anything that is pure in your life or anyone that has pure good intentions for you um, should be in the picture here with you. They should be there with you whilst you go through this i mean for a lot of you air signs though this person really hurt you okay they really betrayed you or maybe you felt you weren't good enough for them okay they were showing other people interest maybe this is going back to an ex um it could be sort of like putting something else as the priority not you um 
and you know maybe you're just in this you, you've been kept in the dark about it so many times or you felt like this a part of this relationship or this connection was in the dark and um some of you want to move on you want to move on from that completely um and that's why you're trying to find purity okay um i also feel like some of you are looking to the good in the connection because when, when we're focusing on purity, we focus on all the good things and all the wonderful things and all the beautiful memories. And sometimes that takes away from the darkness or sometimes that takes away from the reality of what actually happened. Um, now, air signs, we have this amazing ability, you know, to use our minds to create and to imagine and to visualize. Um, and the mind is very powerful, okay? The mind can create some, you know, can, can take us back to some beautiful memories. Um... But I feel like you, what I want to say is like you're taking in those beautiful memories and you're revisiting the good parts of this person. But at this stage, I don't think it's enough for you um, yet. I still feel like you're in that stage where you need to just take it as it comes uh, and not put too much pressure on things or too much pressure on connections. And I think that's more the case this week for you. Um, because, you know, someone's still dealing with heartache. We've got a new beginning here, so a new beginning can happen. Um, we've got the number one, so new beginnings. But again, they could be more internal, okay? There's new beginnings for yourself. And I think it's a week where you're really just going to focus on yourself and your intention. Like I said, you're trying to focus on the good parts of what went wrong or the good parts of a person, okay? There may be some very hurtful parts to this person that you weren't expecting, you didn't really see coming, you might have even been blindsided here. And that's tough to deal with, but I think the Knight of Cups sort of continues on. He's resilient. So, and and to have purity, I think if if this person is pure and this connection is pure, expect it to go places this week expect this person to apologize or expect this person to show up on your doorstep um, or expect them to make the changes that you have asked for that expectancy should be there because if it's pure this person will do it so it's it's almost like a bit of a make and break i feel um so i think it could be a big week for a lot of you okay in regards to a love connection I hope this reading has been helpful. However, Air Signs, I really do appreciate you checking in. Uh, please feel free to email me if you were after a private reading with me. Um, I have my email listed on my YouTube channel. Otherwise, um, stay tuned. I'll have a lot more content coming into the next month. Um, otherwise, uh, take care. All the best. Lots of love and angel blessings. And until next time, bye for now.